Thank you. A very warm welcome on a rather cold winter day to our members of the media and financial community. And as well as a very warm welcome to all my colleagues from Hero Motor Corp. My name is Vijay Thomas. I head marketing for the Harley Davidson Business Unit at Hero Motor Corp. And I'm honored and it's a privilege to be the master of ceremonies for this edition of the Hero World. First of all, an apology that we had to start the event a little late. Unfortunately, this morning, the weather situation was rather ominous, but now it seems like the weather gods are happy and smiling down at us. Thank you all for gracing us with your presence. And to start the show, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. V.S. Kass Baker, Executive Director and Member of the Board. In many ways, he's nothing short of an institution here at the hallowed halls of CIT. Legend has it that if you could take any part of any motorcycle that has been made by Hero, not only would you tell you that which two-wheeler it came from, he would also tell you which year it was actually designed in. I'd like to request you all to give him a round of applause and please welcome Mr. Kasbaker on stage, please, to talk about what the essence of Hero World is. Mr. Kassbaker, may we have you here, please. Namaskar. On behalf of our executive chairman, Dr. Pawan Munjal, the entire leadership team, and everyone at Hero Motor Corp, it gives me immense pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to all of you to the Hero World of 2024, here at the Center of Innovation and Technology, what we call CIT. The CIT is not just a state-of-the-art research and development hub, it is also the symbol of India's rapidly rising tech excellence and innovation. Some of you are here at the inaugural edition of the Hero World in 2020. Originally planned as a biennial event, we could not host it in 2022 due to the coronavirus pandemic. So today, we are delighted to bring back this global event after a gap of four years. Over the course of next three days, we'll be hosting our esteemed board members, investors, global distributors, supply chain partners, dealers and partners of India Business Unit and friends from the media. As the name suggests, Hero World is all about showcasing the universe of Hero, our future roadmap, new technology, and innovation in the form of products, services, our sustainability journey, and our initiatives towards making the Mother Earth a better planet. I promise you this is going to be a memorable experience. So sit back and enjoy this mild sun. God bless and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kasbaker. From the time Hero Motor Car partnered with Harley Davidson, our executive chairman, Dr. Pavan Munjal, in his fortnightly meetings with us as a team, used to constantly repeat a certain word, or rather a certain sentence. He used to say, your mandate is to take brand Harley-Davidson to greater heights 
than it has ever been. It is, it is that philosophy, that vision that prompted us to do great work over the last three years, be it taking the Harley-Davidson Pan America to 18,603 feet, which is higher than any Harley-Davidson has been anywhere in the world, or riding the Sportster S 3,141 kilometers in 24 hours, further than any motorcycle has gone in 24 hours anywhere in India, or whether it was launching the Harley-Davidson X440 to an overwhelming response from the market. Over the last three years, I have to confess, Harley had found its hero. On that note, thank you. On that note, this is the moment that we are very proud. We have something really special to talk about, but I don't think I could do justice to it. To hear it from the architect of this story, I'd like all of us to put our hands together to welcome our executive chairman, Dr. Pawan Munjal. Thank you. Namaskar. Some of you may be wondering at Hero, we are always talking about safety. So where is my helmet? I did check yesterday. Legally, it wasn't required here. I just got my hair styled. I didn't want to spoil my hair. So. <laughs> Once again, namaskar to all of you. A very good morning to all our friends here from the media, from the financial world, and all my colleagues from Hero the entire universe of HERO, especially those from here at CIT and those of you who are here with us from TCG. A very warm welcome. Well, it's getting warm now. Thank you. Thank you, God. A very warm welcome to all of you to the second edition of the HERO World, the celebration of the ethos of mobility, which is 
passion, creativity, innovation, and collaboration. The hero world is more than just a reflection of our current status. It serves as a window into our future. It stands as evidence of our unwavering commitment to excellence, featuring not only our existing product range, but also revealing groundbreaking concepts that offer a preview of the technological marvels awaiting us in the future. As I commence my welcome remarks, let us all together applaud one of our most courageous heroes, Chitra Zutshi. <laughs> Chitra, despite facing paraplegia since birth, she exemplifies the hero value of courage, living each day with resilience and determination more power to you, Chitra. I'm sure some of you would have seen Chitra's inspiring narrative on social media, appropriately titled Hero Motocop Makes Dreams Come True with Freedom on Wheels. Refused to be defined and restricted by her disability, Chitra always dreamt of owning and riding her very own Harley Davidson bike. I was so touched by her indomitable spirit that I tasked the HD team at Hero with creating a modified road king for her to ride. As you can see, the team came through with aplomb, not only creating the bike, but also training Chitra to master it and how to ride it. For Chitra, this was a dream she never thought would come true. And we were both deeply emotional when I handed the keys to Chitra on March 1st, 2023. At that time, I also made a promise to Chitra that she can take me for a spin when we are both together here at CIT the next time. And I have kept that promise today. Thank you. Thank you, Chitra. I'm also thrilled to announce that thanks to the incredible efforts of our team, we have accomplished the near impossible. We have together worked with the government to amend the current laws of the land to be more inclusive, allowing Chitra to register her road king and to ride it anywhere in the country. This is a landmark moment for all of us and the kind of story that defines the can-do spirit and great heart of our organization. And I wanted to share this with all of you on this great occasion today. This year, 2024, is indeed special. Some of you know about it. Just four days ago, on January 19th, our organization turned 40 years old. And as we celebrate this wonderful event, let us pause to acknowledge this place in which we have gathered today. Our Center for Innovation and Technology, CIT, as we fondly call it. When we bid goodbye to our partnership with Honda, many considered it 
as an unconventional and a very, very risky proposition. But I had an unshakable conviction and an unshakable belief that we had everything to walk the path alone then. So this Center for Innovation and Technology is the result of that conviction and my vision to design and develop futuristic, innovative, and green mobility for India and for the rest of the world. Established in March 2016, CIT stands as a marvel of engineering and technological innovation. Spread across an area of 260 acres, it accommodates the finest global technologies for product development and design, research and development, as well as testing and validation, an integrated facility in this 260-acre campus. Some of you may have already experienced our world-class test tracks that are in all 17 kilometers long and have 45 different services. These tracks are integral to HERO's research efforts to simulate real-world road conditions. And of course, we've also organized an off-track experience after this session for those of you who are interested to experience it. Four years ago, at our inaugural Hero World 2020, I had launched our vision, Be the Future of Mobility. Despite the formidable challenges posed by the global pandemic, our company not only persevered, but thrived demonstrating resilience and innovation, successfully revolutionizing the future of mobility. Many of you were here with us at the first Hero World in February of 2020. The concepts presented then have already been turned into production models as a part of the largest product offering in our company's history. This year, the theme of the second edition of Hero World, Ride into Tomorrow, perfectly captures the momentum of our great organization as it rides and conquers the future. In this milestone year of our 40th year of existence, I am reminded of Joy Adamson, the author of Born Free. I'm sure many of you know this, who spent her life raising lions on our farm in South Africa. She once wrote, if there must be a lion in the house, let it be as small as possible. Of course, we know that the lion cub must eventually grow up to become a big lion. 40 years ago, on January 19, 1984, a lion cub called Hero Honda was born. Today, it has grown into a majestic lion called Hero Motor Corp, one who is truly, truly the king of the road, and whose reach, whose reach straddles the globe. As the world's largest two-wheeler manufacturer, we have helped millions kickstart and realize their dreams. The heartening fact that we have earned the trust of 115 million customers worldwide and counting bears testimony to the quality, reliability, and excellence that define our products and our vehicles. And how wonderful it is that we have in our team an eclectic mix of individuals from across the globe, all bringing in their skills, expertise, their enthusiasm, to task of shaping our future and therefore making us a truly global organization. And yet, for all that, we remain proudly Indian at heart. We stand today as a beacon of the Indian ingenuity and enterprise, contributing significantly to the resurgence of our nation's manufacturing capabilities propelling India forward. Our global footprint 
extends to nearly 50 countries across multiple continents where Hero Motor Corp is not just a brand, but a shining example of Indian engineering and technology prowess and innovative and visionary design, mirroring the mood and the vision of the nation, upbeat, dynamic, self-reliant, and ambitious, championed by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Bhai Ji Modi. Our Bharat marked its 75th year of independence and is now diligently working towards its goals for the next 25 years, aiming to achieve developed status by the centennial celebration of our nation's independence by 2047. The inauguration of the Ram Mandir at Ayodhya yesterday, a once in a lifetime and a monumental event, represents a historic moment. It not only signifies a cultural milestone, but also reflects unity, rich cultural heritage, and resilience of our great nation. I'm sure you all will agree, for any country aspiring to achieve new heights of development, upholding its heritage is crucial. Our rich heritage and unparalleled legacy not only inspires us, but also provides guidance in the right direction. Our present day Bharat is progressing by embracing both its profound history and best aspects of modernity. <laughs> My dear friends, 2024 also holds special significance for all of us as we celebrate and commemorate the centennial year of our founder and chairman emeritus, my beloved father and our hero forever, Dr. Brij Mohan Lal Manjal. His towering personality remains unparalleled, continuing to inspire me and all of us through his enduring legacy and steadfast value system. An exemplar of enterprise, determination, compassion, and kindness. He laid the foundation and ethos of our organization. Dear friends, on this momentous centennial birth anniversary of my father, it brings me immense joy to introduce you to the hero of the century, an exclusive collector's edition commemorating this milestone. This unique masterpiece was conceptualized, designed, and developed by my heroes right here and at CIT and at TCG. Let's welcome Hero Forever. So as I said, a masterpiece conceptualized, developed, designed right here at CIT with the support of TCG in Germany. Let's all give a round of applause for the architects behind this exceptional two-wheel crown jewel, especially designed for the esteemed two-wheel collectors among us. May I request you to please stand up, Arun, Tio, Kalol, Ashish, and Sanjay.
to you if you could tell all of us what this masterpiece is, how and why this was concept conceptualized and now it stands here in front of all of us. Well, um, I'm a little bit nervous to uh, stand in front of such a beauty for such uh, an important event. When we got the request to make a special bike for such a special moment... Arun, you all could sit down. You could, you could sit down so everyone can see to you. So when we got this request, uh, we all had the idea very straightforward. It had to be the most special bike ever built in India. So we started from Charisma, the legend. Uh, it was launched during the period of uh, Dr. Lal Munyal, the Emeritus Chairman uh, uh, Leadership. And the first thing we did was to design it as with the same concept as it was at the time, a half cowl uh, version. Later on, it came a full, full cowl. So that was the first thing we did. We just lightened the body. The next thing we applied is a unique riding experience, very upright. And then after that, we just simply complemented with the most prestigious, premium, exotic materials we could find in the motorcycle industry. So you will see the bike in detail later. It will be, you will see all the detailing, all the nice materials that we use. And yeah, uh, I think the beauty speaks by itself. And I hope it's of your pleasure, Dr. Munyal. Thank you, thank you to you. Thank you very much. Sure enough, my heart is overwhelmed. I have no doubt that my father is with us in spirit, celebrating his significant milestone year alongside us. Thank you for this very memorable moment to all of you, to everyone who's supported me and the entire organization in this entire year. While while we've been talking about the new year and its offerings, 2023 has also been a momentous year for us. So many dreams long cherished were realized. A moment when dreams held for decades and across generations come to fruition. A moment when the world's most iconic motorcycle brand and the world's largest two-wheel mobility company came together and made a decisive entry into the premium segment motorcycle, motorcycle segment with the Harley Davidson X440, born right here at CIT together with the support of TCG in Germany. The HD X440 brings an authentic and joyful riding experience to a whole new generation of women and men who love the brand, who dreamt of riding the never-ending open roads across the most beautiful terrains in India and the world. Soon, a slew of new premium motorcycles with R&D spearheading this at CIT will follow to consolidate our position at the top end of the market. My colleagues, led by Niranjan, will shortly unveil and showcase the upcoming range of our premium products for all of you. Our strategic partnership with California-based Zero Motorcycles has also got us into the premium end of the electric motorcycles and powertrains. And it's clearly positioned us right up there as we will be soon launching these motorcycles. This collaboration is a significant step towards fostering a cleaner and a greener future. As we look into the future, the landscape of mobility is undergoing a profound transformation. It's no longer solely about moving from point A to point B. It is about nurturing and nurturing connectivity, sustainability, and creating a future where technology and environmental responsibility seamlessly coexists. Hero Motor Corp, as the undisputed leader in the two-wheeler industry for 23 consecutive years now, is not just adapting to this change, we are actively shaping it. My dear friends, 40 years ago, when artificial intelligence was just a twinkle in the eye of science fiction, we made our first motorcycle 
in a historic partnership. Today, 40 years later, we have launched our first electric bike and artificial intelligence and robotics are a key part of our production protocol. I'm so proud of the hero-powered VIDA and what it represents for the future of our planet and the generations to come. I look on in wonder and admiration at the way we are using chat GPT and AI to transform and evolve our relationships with our customers into a responsive and a dynamic two-way conversation. Soon, you will have the opportunity to witness these technological enablers which embody the true spirit behind Hero World at the CIT Boulevard. This will provide an immersive experience showcasing our future concepts and designs, technological innovations, along with our latest product and service offerings, including merchandise. We have an abundance of recent successes, as though the universe itself was wishing us a happy 40th. Our relaunch of Charisma XMR in May 23, arguably the most popular bike ever in the Hero Stable, received an ecstatic response, aligned with our mission to create, collaborate, and inspire. The new Charisma XMR is the outcome of a distinctive collaboration between the world-class engineers here at CIT and the Hero Tech Center in Germany. I'm also thrilled to announce our most outstanding performance to date at the prestigious and very, very tough Dakar rally, securing, <laughs> securing a second place podium finish is a source of immense pride for all of us at Hero. And it should be for the nation. This marks the first ever win by an Indian manufacturer team, underscoring a historic achievement. My heartiest congratulations go to Ross Branch and our Hero Motorsports team rally led by Wafi. May I ask you all to stand up for all of us to applaud and recognize you. <laughs> Once again, this recognition underscores the prowess of our products in conquering all roads. As I go off the stage, my colleagues will be taking another significant step towards the relentless journey in the premiumization of Hero by unveiling two new product offerings, a manifestation of our passion for precision, engineering, excellence in design, and cutting-edge technology. My dear friends, let me end by sharing with you a thought from the late, great Steve Jobs, one that I have always kept in my mind as a model for myself. <coughs> he said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life and the only way to be satisfied is to do great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. We at Hero commit to continue to pour all our energy and passion into the great work we have ahead of us so that we may author ever greater successes for the next 40 years. We commit to building our product portfolio with trademark quality, and also be the architects of a better, more sustainable future for the new generation of riders. We commit to uphold our pursuit of technological excellence and design innovation, while never forgetting that empathy and integrity are at the heart of all we do. We commit to serve our grand corporate vision 
even as we serve the personal dreams of the very smallest member of our community. And if we can do this, then I know without a doubt that our next 40 years will be even greater than our first. I'm sure many of you have heard this. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you, Dr. Munjal, for those beautiful, inspiring words. It's true, Jobs' words, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. I'm sure there's a large number of people in the audience to which these words resonate very deeply. It is now that time of the day where we go to the core of what Hero Motor Corp does, and that is to build world-class motorcycles and scooters to talk about a very special product that is designed to gain our leadership in the 125cc category. I'd like to invite Vikrama BK, category lead motorcycles, global product planning on stage. Please do give him a round of welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vijay. Hero Motor Corp has been the global leader in motorcycles, and we continue to set new milestones every single day. We have launched models which have created new segments and have redefined existing ones. Our journey in the 125cc motorcycles has been action-packed. Be it the Glamour X-Tech or the Super Splendor X-Tech, both these motorcycles have created feature and technology benchmarks in the 125cc segment. We have recently launched the Glamour Magnetic in its iconic avatar based on popular customer demand, and we have received an overwhelming response. Today, we are going to continue to expand our horizons by launching a premium 125cc motorcycle a motorcycle which is set to challenge conventions, a motorcycle which is going to redefine the game, a motorcycle which is going to be a leap ahead. A leap ahead not only in terms of styling, a leap ahead in terms of the riding dynamics, a leap ahead which is set to take the customer aspirations even higher and ensure that they never ever settle for the ordinary. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the all new Extreme 125R. Challenging the boundaries of performance. Challenging the norms of style. Challenging the standards of safety. Challenging the benchmarks of riding. Presenting Hero Extreme 125R.
before I invite Niranjan Gupta on stage, I'd like to narrate a little anecdote. A few months ago, we were in office and we were in a bit of a limbo. We, we couldn't make a decision, you know, we kept debating it. And it so happened that Niranjan happened to be in that meeting and in his calm demeanor, he looked at us and said, guys, remember in life, it's more important to make a decision, whether it's right or wrong, than to make no decision at all. Like in football, when you strike to score a goal, either the ball's going to go hit the back of the net or you may miss the goalpost altogether. But if you don't take that shot, you're guaranteed to miss. These are the words that sort of redefined the word agility for us. These are the words that gave us the confidence to go ahead and proudly make decisions, confidently make decisions. And on that note, I'd like to invite our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Niranjan Gupta on stage, please. Vijay, 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 where are you going? Let me complete the story. So as they moved with speed, and we asked them to hit the shots, uh, I wasn't aware they will hit so many clean shots into the goal. 25,000 winning goals. Congratulations for Harley Davidson bookings. All the shots in the goal post. We are about create, collaborate, inspire. We are about partnerships. I don't want to be standing here alone. Can I invite our executive chairman and my boss, Dr. Pawan Munjal, on stage along with the bike, please? want to take photos of, of this bike, this is your moment, guys. Some of, some of you want to come closer to get closer pictures of the bike. Not ours. With AI, you can eliminate us later on from the photos. Rima, is that right? Thank you. Thanks a lot. May we have Vikrama and Ashish back on stage to do a bit of a deep dive into the product specifications, please. Thanks. Thanks, Vijay. The extreme 
Extreme 125 comes with an all-new sprint pivot engine, aka smooth power response and instant torque. We have designed a special engine balancer technology with the overall silent cam chain mechanism will give a peak power of 11.5 PS. With the best in class refinement on overall engine, it is giving the smoothest ride of its class, which is an outcome of gear ratio, smarter cam angles, and overall programmed ECU. So Vikrama, I think it's really fast. It sure is, and it's a super refined engine. I can vouch for that. Uh, but I'll talk about the design philosophy of this motorcycle. As you can see, it's a gorgeous looking machine here. And the design philosophy is to make a motorcycle which is muscular yet chiseled. And this has been achieved through layering of surfaces and the volume proportions. The overall vehicle has mass forward stance and along with this unique floating front shrouds give it an aerodynamic and a sharp character. The overall design lines of this motorcycle actually amplify the riding character of this motorcycle. The motorcycle also comes with a compact exhaust with signature bead. And all in all, I can surely say that this motorcycle design represents a sense of power, represents a sense of agility, and represents a sense of thrill. Speaking of thrill, not only is this motorcycle designed to thrill, but in terms of engineering, it's engineered to deliver unmatched riding dynamics and comfort. The motorcycle comes with exceptional ride and handling capabilities. It provides best-in-class agility. This has been achieved through a steeper caster angle of 24 degrees, a larger trail, and an all-new diamond frame, which has best-in-class torsional rigidity. The suspension setup is also premium. This has got the broadest in its class, 37mm dia front suspension. The monoshock suspension has been developed in collaboration with Showa exclusively for this motorcycle. Together, they deliver unmatched body control and comfort. Yeah, we have engineered Extreme 125R to naturally deliver on safety. The premium segment, the braking system, the frontal 276 mm disc will equip the vehicle and will give the best in class of braking in all kind of surfaces. This is not it. This vehicle is equipped with a hazard lamp, which is quite important in this kind of climate. I would say that uh, in today's weather conditions, the hazard lamp could be a lifesaver. May I please uh, invite on stage to take further on this motorcycle our chief business officer, India Business Unit, Ranjeev Jit, and the category lead for motorcycles in marketing, Tarushika, on stage, please. Namaste. Now, we gather here today not just as enthusiasts of two-wheelers, but as witnesses to the birth of a completely new revolution on Indian roads. And I am thrilled to stand before you and talk about a highly engineered 125cc motorcycle a testament to a leap ahead in innovation, style, riding dynamics, safety, and above all, the spirit of the modern rider. This is the new India. This is the age when our dreams are turned into reality. From hosting the G20, success of Chandrayaan 3, Aditya L1, our success in the Asian Games with 107 medals, winning the coveted Oscars, and so many, many more achievements. 
This new India is fueled by aspirations, and our youngsters are looking for the best in everything. So, Tarushika, how does all of this relate to the 125cc motorcycle segment and the industry? Thank you, Rajiv. I completely agree. The similar trend is observed in the 125 motorcycle segment as well. The segment where customers made purchase decisions on conventional buying factors such as fuel efficiency, ride comfort and value for money. Products are now rapidly evolving and adding sportier designs modern tech features, and advanced safety features in their list of core buying factors. Today's customer of 125cc motorcycles want to flaunt their machine, and at the same time, they expect it to be light on their pocket. All I can say is, Extreme 125R is the need of the hour, a product that delivers on all these expectations beyond imagination. With its cutting-edge technology, performance, that is best in class, um, uh, head turning aesthetics, safety, which is redefined. Extreme 125R undoubtedly stands out as a techno technological marvel on two wheels and will be the most premium offering to the customers in this segment. That's fantastic to hear, Tarushika. I'm very, very excited with what you just described to us. I believe the Extreme 125R has all the ingredients to challenge the status quo. Extreme 125R is here to challenge the extreme with its first-in-class and best-in-segment features. So let's saddle up the new Extreme 125R with the Sprint EBT engine, which breezes past 60 kilometers an hour in just 5.9 seconds from the start. And Sprint, if you remember, is our all-new 125cc engine and stands for smooth power response and instant torque. And EBT is an engine balancer technology. Wow. And even the darkest of alleys won't scare you anymore. Extreme 125R with its all-LED package, which has LED projector headlamp, LED tail lamp, and LED winkers, is all geared up to challenge the night. The first in segment single channel ABS helps challenge the unexpected with excellent braking efficiency. The wider rear tire adds to the safety. And it doesn't end there. Because the Extreme 125R comes with best in class fuel efficiency. It challenges the distance by helping you go far. It challenges you to go even further than that. Yes, it does not do 53 kilometers per liter no, it surpasses that and surpasses even 63 kilometers per liter. It goes up to 66 kilometers per liter. Unbelievable. So think of the cost you will save on fuel when you are riding the Extreme 125R. The bike that is high on power, torque, and acceleration does not compromise on fuel efficiency. That's what we call challenge the norm, challenge the extreme. The all-new Extreme 125R is available in three exciting colors, Cobalt Blue, Firestorm Red, and Stallion Black, and two variants, IBS and ABS. Thank you, Tarushika. That Thank was you. fantastic. A big round of applause for her debut on stage. So we just saw how Extreme 125R is the most premium product in the 125cc segment with so many first-in-class best in segment features. Now when we stacked up all these fabulous features, we came to a value, and I'm sure you've done the mental math yourself, and you would have realized that this will surely, surely is expected to exceed one lakh rupees. So now is the moment to announce the price of the new Hero Extreme 125R. And it's my pleasure to announce the all new Extreme 125R starts at 95,000. And the ABS variant comes at the price of 99,500. Of course, these are ex showroom prices in Delhi. So, I mean, literally, you've got it all here. Beautifully styled, power packed, new features, and such a sweet price. 
The Extreme 125R will be available in your nearby hero stores from 20th February. So you don't have to wait long. But for all of you that are here, I will invite you to actually do the test ride today at these beautiful facilities that we have. Because once you do so, I am absolutely sure you will love it. Challenging the boundaries of performance. Challenging the norms of style. Challenging the standards of safety. Challenging the benchmarks of riding. Presenting Hero Extreme 125R. Challenge the Extreme. Wow, Ranjeev, you know, the more I see this motorcycle, I see these lovely lines. It's a desirable motorcycle. I have a question for you. I know, you know, I've known you for quite some time now, and I know that you're a fan of brevity and clarity of thought. Um, if you could give us one reason, and one reason why the Extreme 125R is going to be a success, what could that be? Which I was going to ask you that question because you're the actual expert, but I can profess to be a, a biker too. And when I've ridden the Extreme 160, 125R, I know this one has it all. So it's very difficult to answer your question. But typically, what happens with me is when a brand offers me something that I just didn't expect, that blows me away. The engine is phenomenal. The ride comfort is beautiful, and I like to zip fast, but I also like to stop on a dime. For me, it's the ABS. That's the unexpected in this segment, and I would go for this any day. The ABS braking system is phenomenal. Excellent. Okay, that was brevity at its peak. <laughs> I know you still wanted to continue speaking yeah, about yeah. it, uh, but that's when you love the motorcycle so much that you know it, it's very difficult to put few words to explain what it is. Well, now we are at the part of the show that I've personally have been very excited about. I know, Ranjeev and your team, you've been working uh, for many months putting this launch together. So without further ado, um, I'm going to exit the stage and I'm going to give you your time in the sun. Thank you, Vijay. That was so thrilling, that entire sequence of launching the Extreme 125R. But continuing on the thrilling journey, from the most premium product in the 125cc motorcycles to the pinnacle of premium motorcycles, is a transition that mirrors the evolution of not just a vision and product line, but the aspirations and desires of our riders and our customers. We are today standing here at the portal of a new era for Hero Motor Corp. Indeed, it is a momentous day for us in our 40 years journey. We are embarking on the first fully conceptualized, designed and created product in the upper premium segment. It is a proud moment for our Hero family as we create history yet again. The upper premium motorcycling segment in India has undergone a remarkable transformation experienced an extraordinary six-fold growth in the last decade. Just in the last seven months, we have launched two of our most iconic brands. The year 2023 marked a significant step as we ventured into the upper premium segment by launching the Harley-Davidson X440, co-developed with the American iconic brand, a great example of not just make in India, but collaborate with the world, along with our tech center Germany and our center of innovation and technology here in Jaipur. Within a month of the launch of X440, 
We brought, sorry, we, we actually want to show you now the lovely, absolutely fantastic recap of the Harley-Davidson X440 launch. This is a strong evidence of the India growth story. The story of rising aspiration, the story of Amrit Kal, a product that would play a key role as we write the next unbeatable chapter in our journey. This, my dear friends, is one such moment for Hero and for me personally. I'm extremely proud of each one of you, each one of you here and in Milwaukee who have worked hard to bring this motorcycle to life. Well done, my heroes. Very pleased and I want to take the opportunity to really thank our teams that were able to create something very special that the Indian customer will, I'm sure, fall in love with very quickly and complement the broad distribution that the Hero will deliver to Harley Davidson in India to make it truly accessible. That video says it all. And then within a month of the launch of the X440, we brought the original Legion Charisma back on the roads in a new com contemporary avatar, Charisma XMR. I'm happy to announce that we will be reopening the bookings of Charisma very soon. Let's have a look at the recap. Heroes Charisma is back to rule the roads with an absolute bang. Today's launch, it marks the return of a legend. It was actually one of the most stylish bikes. If there's smartphone connectivity, so I think comfort is very important. Every biker's dream was charisma, and it's back, and it's lit. The final introductory prize for this new charisma, XMR. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing Maverick 440 from Hero Motor Corp. Maverick is not just a product, it's a symbol of our company's evolution. Maverick is a work of modern art, an embodiment of style, and a showcase of technological prowess. It reflects our confidence in our capabilities and our determination to lead, not just in terms of market share, but in terms of product excellence. With Maverick 440, we have redefined the given yet again. Maverick is not just the name of our motorcycle. It is that one word which captures the essence and ethos of this machine, from conceptualization to where we stand today. I am told that anyone who has seen or experienced this motorcycle has simply loved it. The design, the modernity, and above all, the unstoppable nature of the machine. 
on this historic day. It will create new benchmarks for the upper premium segment. Maverick 440 has the potential to become a beacon of innovation on the global stage. And we are innovating for the world. So let us welcome Maverick 440, our interpretation as a modern roadster. The new era begins. In a world where choices are often black or white, an original stands apart. Built for the free-spirited who carve their own legacy, born from a desire to defy the norm, the Maverick is muscle. No unnecessary thrills or gimmicks. All metal. A fusion of advanced technology and power. Made for today's originals. Maverick is the canvas to express your personality. It's a testament to your free will. A celebration of who you are. It's time to start your story with a motorcycle that's built for pure riding. Meet the Maverick 440.
May I invite Dr. Pavan Munjal and Mr. Niranjan Gupta to please come on stage for a photo op. And our friends from the media, please don't be shy. Do come forward. You could come forward, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you want to be on the right? We've decided to do the second round of a photo op, so if you've missed the first, please do come forward for the second. Thank you, thank you everybody, thank you very much. Please welcome the product lead, Mr. Mandeep Sandhu, the project lead, Praveen Kolekar, and our CTO, Dr. Arun Jora, on stage to deep dive into the Maverick 440. A very good afternoon to all of you. It's an absolute privilege to introduce the Maverick 440 to you today. A motorcycle, especially in this segment, is not just a machine which puts certain number on a spec sheet. But it's the complex symphony of emotions it evokes in its rider. This segment, it's about the sheer surge of power to go the extra mile, ride all day, and all that without ever feeling stressed. It's about making heads turn and the rider feeling the confidence within and every twist of the throttle amplifying his presence on the road. A motorcycle which does, does not look tough but at the same time, it lends the same solid build and the strong core character to its rider. And all this without tampering with the hygiene of being a comfortable mile muncher, whether it is in the city or on those long winding highways. The Maverick 440. It's conceptualized to be an extension of the rider's spirit, a testament to their unwavering pursuit of freedom and authority. It's born to rule. Now I hand over the mic to Dr. Jora, CTO Hero Motor Corp, and Praveen, who will take us through how these emotions have been engineered into the DNA of Maverick 440. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mandeep. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm delighted to introduce the Maverick, the amazing bike that has been technologically crafted between the teams at CIT and TCG, and complemented and supported by other functions here at Hero. It is very, very emphatic on the design element. It has a commanding road presence. 
It has an unstoppable power and an inherent sense of authenticated desire to rule. Yes. So Praveen, why don't you highlight a couple of, the, couple of these uh, design elements for us? Sure, Dr. Jora. Achieving these attributes involves strategically concentrating mass at the front and use of wide hydroform handlebars for commanding road presence. One can see that the muscular fuel tank, exposed metal parts, accentuate the ruggedness of the Maverick. Additionally, we have also opted for enhanced surface coatings for aesthetic longevity of the Maverick. And that's our commitment for the quality. The Maverick easily outperforms by delivering the best in class, low end torque, with most of the time, 90% of the torque being delivered at 2000 RPM. Ladies and gentlemen, 90% of the time it is delivering the torque at 2000 RPM. Amazing thing that we really need to understand. The volumetric efficiency, 85 plus percentage. This has been enhanced through enlarged valves in the 440 cc long stroke engine that we have built. The engine calibration has smart architecture. It actually adapts to any kind of fuel up to E20. And this is aligned with our sustainability vision and mission of the organization. So we made sure that this bike can go across the fuel portfolio that we have. The better fuel efficiency, it is due to the uniform piston temperature that we actually are able to manage through special cooling jets at about 250 degrees Celsius. And that is something that is actually balancing the torque that we have and the acoustic that we have. Also, the patented acoustic engineering that we've done, the noise, the thump that you heard, it's been actually crafted and engineered in our state-of-the-art NVH labs here at CIT. And that is something un unimaginable and enviable exhaust thump that we see in the Maverick 440. Yours. Sure. So we have spent a sufficient amount of time on this bike for the handling and dynamics aspect of this overall Maverick. Use of high strength steel and the compact layout makes the Maverick agile to handle. We have carefully crafted the entire package to achieve the low seat height and the best ground clearance in this category. And that makes the Maverick stands apart. With 130 mm wheel travel and deep cushion seats, the rider can comfortably breeze through any terrains. The comfort is further enhanced by the ergonomics of rider and pillion. We have also engineered a very neutral footrest position that provides ample legroom and also distributes the rider weight. With structurally stable frame, rightly tuned suspension and apt size of wheels, we have achieved a very balanced dynamics and handling. Indeed, the Maverick is relaxed, fun to ride, and confidence-inspiring bike. That's fantastic, uh, Praveen. Also, the Maverick has integrated interactive telematics that is enabled via the non-evasive eSIM that we have, a programmable eSIM that's there. And when we look at this bike in terms of the safety features, the integration of all the connected features that we have, we have actually seamlessly integrated 35 plus features in terms of security, in terms of safety, in terms of navigation, in terms of driving reports and things like that. Nevertheless, to say that we have our standard Bluetooth features again in the vehicle for the enhanced customer experience. It has an intelligent LED, and this is a single board LED, gentlemen and ladies, and about 90 lux. Now, this intensity is balanced and the thermal management that we have, we've used in this to manage the heat dissipation because one of, this is one of the challenges and the attributes of the bike that we've actually overcome seamlessly. And again, when we talk about thermal management framework, we're also talking about a lot of patents that we've filed around this technology. There are about 23 patents that we've filed on this particular bike, ladies and gentlemen, the symbol of innovation and technology. And again, we are delighted also that this particular bike is an epitome of comfort. It is a beautiful brood that we fondly call it as. It is powerful and it creates that aspiration and inspiration for the rider 
wherever it goes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Jora. Thank you, Praveen. To enlighten us on the brand Maverick, which is beyond just the motorcycle, I'd like to invite my friend and colleague, Ms. Geetika Bisla, Head of Marketing, Hero Motor Corp on stage, please. Geetika, may we have you on stage? Thank you, Vijay. Namaskar, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Jora and team, for sharing all the amazing details about Maverick, the machine. Now, I'm here to tell you our brand philosophy and our brand ethos. When we look at the young Indians of today, there is an inherent restlessness and hunger in them. No matter how young they are, they are bold and they are courageous. It's a free-spirited generation. They are not afraid to hustle. They are also true non-conformists. But that doesn't mean they are rebellious. While the usual is respected, they believe that the usual is passé. These, this generation is seeking fresh, differentiated, and unprecedented experiences like never before. And we believe these are the true blue new mavericks of India. So for these mavericks, we've designed the Maverick 440. What a powerful modern roadster that cannot be boxed in. It can go for long hauls on the highways, but can, it can equally be comfortable for a quick dash around the city. It is a true original that is stylish, that is modern, that is muscular, and that is powerful. Wow. It is a product that is so unique that it screams non-conformity in the category. Absolute non-conformity. A signature thump that announces the arrival and that reverberates through your heart and your soul. In the world of motorcycling, we too are mavericks, and we've crafted a magnificent beauty. We know that real motorcycle enthusiasts love to bond with their motorcycles, right? Riding for them is not just about the motorcycle. It's about forging a connection with their machine. It is a process of discovery and learning that brings them closer every day to their machines, and then the machines start reflecting them. As I would say, this connection is not just for the road. It is for the mind, the heart, and the soul. That's not it. Not only is there a connection, but motorcyclists see their bikes as an extension of themselves, their personalities, something that mirrors their untamed spirit, their audacity, and their unyielding passion. Again, the machine reflecting their unwavering zest for life. And we believe that is what Mavericks seek today from their motorcycles. So ladies and gentlemen, what happens when a Maverick, a young Maverick, meets the Maverick 440? It is two beats, but one heart, united by the same soul of fun and discovery. As the rider and the machine fuse seamlessly, it is more than a ride. It is a collective force that starts to disrupt. When a maverick meets the maverick, they will blaze new trails, and new dreams will be unleashed. When a maverick meets the maverick, the power of the rider meets the commanding presence of the motorcycle. The metal, the strength of the rider meets the metal substance of the motorcycle. And the heartbeat of the rider meets the thump of the motorcycle. We truly believe when a maverick meets the maverick, Again, when a maverick meets the maverick, they will experience an unprecedented multiplier. So introducing our positioning for the Maverick 440 that captures this very ethos, me into machine. Let us take a look.
In the world where most people fit in, there are those who stand out by just being themselves. When the world starts to whisper, their rev is the only reply. in three variants. The base variant, which has spoke wheels, will come in arctic white. The mid variant, which has dual tone color scheme and alloy wheels, will come in two beautiful colors. We see the fearless red here and a celestial blue. And the top connected variant that has diamond cut alloys and engine machining will come in two colors, phantom black and Enigma Black. Maverick is a beautiful motorcycle, and we at Hero Motor Corp feel immense pride in unveiling this today for the world to ride, experience, and fall in love with. We will be taking our media partners for a product experience ride to the scenic and beautiful run of Kutch starting 15th February. See you there and promise you it will be a lifetime experience riding the Maverick. But wait, before I leave the stage, we don't want our customers to wait for too long to get their hands on the Maverick 440. So bookings will open sometime in February, along with a price announcement, and we will start delivering the first set of bikes in April. Thank you. There's um, one part of what you said that I'm going to disagree with. Oops. You, you said that the Maverick is a beautiful motorcycle. I'm sorry, I think it's a stunningly beautiful motorcycle. It's not just a, a, a beautiful motorcycle, but amazing. I mean, I think uh, you guys have hit it out of the park. Um, Absolutely. Been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Thank you very much, Geetika. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. If you'd allow us a moment. We may have almost reached the end of the show. 
But how can we stop the show without our showstopper? This is the opportunity for us to invite our maverick CEO, Mr. Niranjan Gupta, to please come on stage to deliver the CEO's address, as well as the closing remarks. Everybody, please give him a round of applause, please. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm sure you're quite excited to see the launch, Niranjan. And yeah, Vijay, but uh, let me again tell you one thing. I don't think I'm the showstopper. I think on the stage today, we have seen many showstoppers, starting with our executive chairman, Dr. Pawan Munjal, and the two bikes that we saw. And of course, I would say that at Hero, everyone, every employee, every person who works, every dealer, every customer is a showstopper, every partner, every investor. You all are showstoppers, and that's how the show continues for Hero. Well said. The stage is yours, Niranjan. Thank you. So, as I begin, I would like to again warm welcome. And morning, I think my colleague said warm welcome, but I think it was a cold, foggy morning. Now I can truly take that pedestal and say it's truly a warm welcome, guys. <laughs> to all our esteemed investors, friends from media, and all the colleagues, everyone present here, and as we saw, as a recap, the vision from our chairman has enabled creation of strong legacy, building a very solid foundation for future. We have been at the forefront of providing mobility to masses. We know that, we heard that. In a sense, it's providing wheels to India to move forward. And we are proud to have partnered Bharat in its development journey so far. 115 million enabled through mobility, providing wheels. It's not about selling motorcycles. It's about providing mobility. It's about ensuring that every single person, every single household, can participate in the growth journey of India, of, of Bharat, that we are talking about. We are now changing gears, as you have seen. Riding into tomorrow is the theme. What backs this riding into tomorrow? Which mantra backs it? We as a leadership team together came out with the mantra of speed, scale, synergy, and simplification. This is the 4S mantras that will help us change gears and ride into tomorrow. And I'll talk about some examples that we already have on this front. First one is four premium launches in the last seven months. Clear example of speed. Power brands, Ranjit Ji talked about it. And I can tell you, coming back to the showstopper, the show is not going to stop here. The show has just begun. It will continue from here on. You also just witnessed two spectacular launches, which I talked about stunningly beautiful, and addressing the needs of and the aspirations of India and, of course, the globe. Both these products, as we saw, are engineering marvel. And I dare say that this is now just not about make in India, but actually innovate in India. And that's the stuff that we are moving forward with our, with our bikes that we are talking about. It's not just about product. Our speed is evident in everything that we are doing and the scale. We have upgraded 300 stores in 300 days. It's just one store per day in the last 300 days. When I gave this target to Ashutosh, and I talked about 250 stores, and initially, and Ashutosh is the national sales head, initially he just said, how will we do it? And now we are at a stage where every day I have to change my slides 
because the same slide is not relevant and we have to add 10 or 20 in my next presentations. So therefore, big thanks to our sales team involved in this. And not just this. We had talked about also creating our own exclusive premium stores. And again, I'm glad to, uh, glad to say that we have launched three, but obviously three is not that we'll be happy with. So we are taking a target of crossing 100 stores by June 2024 itself, this year, June. I would actually invite all of you to visit, to see the store for yourself as to how we are scaling up. And it's not just physicality of the stores, but actually the digital experience that we are creating at the stores. And while catering to the aspirational customers, we have started moving on our EV journey as well. From three cities in the beginning, we have crossed, as of last week, 100 cities. You will see a big scale up happening as we move forward. And this is all because, again, going back to 4S, picking up and leveraging synergy. I talked about Hero having so much of scale and foundation and legacy, and that's what we are leveraging here. Whether it's supply chain, the distribution, or the service network to actually augment VIDA scale. Of course, we're not stopping here. We are scaling up our global business. Over the last five, seven, 10 years, the team has done a great job in expanding our footprint to almost 50 countries. In now moving forward in the next phase, we will be scaling up each of these countries big time, obviously disproportionately focusing on the top 10 countries. So again, I come back to India. So this is not about just make in India, innovate in India, but actually make for the world from India. And that's what we're doing. In earlier era, product and portfolio used to be everything. But all of us know it's no more the truth. The, long, the big strides on the digital and AI and the customer experience, that powers the portfolio. And we are creating many industry first features through Gen AI, and whether it's a conversation-based campaign or ask me anything. And I'm sure you will experience as you go through our Hero World 2024 here through the various places. And I, I think if I recap correctly, uh, the stall is titled Digitopia. Right, Rima? Yeah, absolutely. So my recap is, is... So we are making the entire journey simple and seamless for our customers. Again, going back to the 4S mantra. By the way, last week I was in Davos, and where everyone was talking about AI. Everyone. You'd name it everyone from the age 5 to 55 or 75. I do believe that, and we do believe at the company, that AI will augment NI and HI, which is natural intelligence and human intelligence, and that will enable better decisions. Of course, it's, it's in my interest to say so, because if it takes over all human intelligence, uh, my job may not exist. I hope Chairman is not listening to it. So that's on the AI that powers NI and, and HI. I invite you to visit all our stalls at Hero World. You will see showcase of our innovation prowess, technology capabilities, and future roadmap. It will provide you a glimpse into the universe of Hero Motocorp, including the R&D labs, test tracks, technology, and upcoming innovation. And I would urge all of you to experience several product concepts and initiatives that actually illustrate how we are bringing to life the vision of be the future of mobility. Before I end, I have an announcement to make. Our chairman spoke about and showcased the special edition bike, which is to commemorate the 100th anniversary of our chairman emeritus. We as a team, uh, let me choose my word, 
we hope to, we expect to, or let's say we will deliver 100 bikes on 1st July, which is the birthday of Chairman Emeritus. In the end, I would like to extend my gratitude to the entire Hero Motocorp family, our teams, our investors, our friends from media, channel partners, supply chain partners, and most importantly, our customers. Your support has been the driving force behind our success, and it will, it will propel us to write the next unbeatable chapter in our journey of Hero Motocorp. And a big thank you to investors and media and shareholders. I was just looking at the share price today, which crossed 4,500. And it means that, and thank you for putting the confidence in this team. It's not me, it's the entire team. And I can assure you, we will not let you down. So keep supporting us and we'll keep giving you the rewards and keep creating shareholder value. Thank you and thank you very much. And please visit the Hero World. Thank you. Going down this road again Let's leave it all behind My friend Freedom and the whole world Ahead of me Climb every mountain peak Until there's nothing left to seek Cause I know the road will set you free You tell me where We request you to please make your way towards the boulevard where we've got some wonderful displays showcasing off track.